Hi everyone, welcome back. Let's have a look at percentages and what's going on. The common thing to do in maths is a percentage increase, or you want to mark the price up or something, and your teacher will say to you, increase $100 by 3%. Now they first talked about the 3%. 3% is a little amount, it means three out of every hundred. Now a lot of people looking at the video will go, that's $103, so let's have a look at what happens. So the $100, if I multiply that by this number here, is actually a 0.03 as a decimal. So 3% is 0.03, so what do we do? If I multiply that by one, I get my 100, and I go to where I was, I stay the same, it doesn't change. But I said I want it to increase, so I want it to get a little bit bigger. How much bigger? That much bigger. So if I multiply the 100 by 1.03, and pick up my calculator and type in 100 by 1.03, I get 103. So you can see the 100 that we started with and the extra three. So let's do another example. Let's say that was number one. Number two, let's increase, say, let's do 100 again, but this time let's say by some silly figure like 17%. So what does 17% mean? As a decimal, it's 17 out of 100, so 17 out of 100 is 0.17, you could write it as 17 over 100. Just remember, if we're talking about money, the fractions are not that helpful because we're wanting the decimals for the money. So if I increase the $100 by 17%, I go the 100 times by, if I multiply by one, I get the same as what I got before. So I've got to get the extra 17% and I times it by 1.17. Put in your calculator and you get 117. So let's have a look for a second. 3%, it didn't get much more than 100. 17% got a lot more than 100. So I could go again, I could go crazy and I can go $100 by and say it was, uh, let's go something like 60%. A lot of people muck up with 60%. Watch out for the trap with 60%. It's not 0.06, it's 60 out of 100 which is 0.6. Some people do have to think about, I've found over the years, that that 60 is 0.60. No need to write that extra zero. By the way, what's a trap? 3% has a zero here because it's very small, or it's actually quite small. Let's have a look at this one. It's $100 this time. If you multiply it by one, it stays the same, but we want it to increase. So I'm gonna multiply that with an extra 0.6, and some people will think six zero. Don't need a zero, you can just go 1.6. But if your brain thinks of 60% as 0 0.60, that's what it is. You pop it in your calculator, we end up with $160. So this time, 60% went up a lot more than did the 17%, and a lot more than the 3%. So each of them has their amount. Now sometimes they'll talk about markup, and instead of saying increase the following, they'll say, You've got something in the shop, it's uh, $100, we want to increase its price, they'll say increase or they want to mark it up by 3%. Same calculation, same concept, you can go through the same idea. Uh, hope it helps, that's a really simple basic one on increase and markup, make another one in a minute on decrease and see what does happens with those. Thank you.